This morning's coffee with us with Autumn Research. And the satellite interview is furnished by Smith Global Media. Autumn, welcome yeah, to better. WJZ this morning. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me. Okay, now we got to be transparent here. We're having communication issues. These things we wear in our ears are called IFBs. Mm -hmm. Why is irrelevant? Autumn's studio is having a little bit of an IFB issue. So Autumn is using her cell phone and her ear, her personal earbuds. Her, yeah, her headphones. There it is. <laughs> and you dialed into our control room. Making it work. And, and, it, and it works. Yeah, we can hear you. Can you can hear us. Work. But you know what? Put them both in. You kind of look pretty cool with both of them in. There you go. I, I agree. I was told here to take them both out, but I was like, look, I look much cooler with both of them in. Oh, yeah, you really <laughs> honestly that was a do. Valid reason. This is out of sight. <laughs> Are you going to charge the studio for your data plan? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me 50 cents. There you go. <laughs> this is a coffee with first. Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> hey, let's, talk, let's talk Valley of the Bones. You've got a really dynamite resume, and this is a pretty, uh, pretty intense movie, given some of, the, uh, some of the projects our audience is familiar with you in. Let's talk about what attracted you to Valley of the Bones, Valley of Bones. Yeah, I do a lot of I do a lot of comedies and and romantic leads recently, and um, this movie Valley of Bones is a western thriller. It's really dark. It's really gritty, and I was going through um, a time in my life where my personal life was really heavy, and so I was looking for work to put that energy into. And when this project came to me, it was exactly the right time, exactly the right time for this project. It involves a T-Rex skeleton, worth a fortune. Mm -hmm. Um, and a Mexican drug cartel, and the guy you've teamed up with who should have been on Breaking Bad has a bit of a meth problem. Yes, exactly. So we both want this T-Rex skeleton. I play Anna. I'm a paleontologist and um, have been through a lot in my life. I've lost my husband. I've been in jail for prospecting on federal land, and I therefore have no relationship with my young son, but I'm forced to bring him on what turns out to be a really, really dangerous dinosaur dig. And so you have all the elements of us fighting for this multi-million dollar skeleton, but then also me needing to rekindle a relationship with my son when I've been very disconnected from the world for a long period of time. So you said you chose this movie because of heavy stuff that was happening in your life. Was it therapeutic? Yeah, very much so. I mean, I think as actors, we, um, we, we, I mean, I act because to work through emotions and to tell stories, and I always bring a lot of myself to every role, and so the opportunity to, to play in, in a bit of a, um, a deeper pool was really appealing to me. So right now, are you looking for another kind of, um more jovial project down the road? Yeah, I just finished a Christmas movie for Hallmark, so that'll be coming out this year on the Hallmark Channel. It's called Bramble House Christmas, and then I am working on The Arrangement, the second season of The Arrangement, and on that one I play a very um, strong, uh, exuberant agent, talent agent. So I, I like to mix it up. I do a lot of different things, but this one for me was very appealing as a as an indie drama. It, it had been a while since I'd worked on something like like Valley of Bones. But you know, indies are so cool. Indies are like indies are where it's at now, because you can, you know it's kind of like in the world in, in the world of theaters, indies are kind of like cable or Netflix or Amazon. You can just air it out a little bit more. And as a performer, that's got to be refreshing yeah. for you. Very much so. And this film is uh, first-time filmmakers, you know, young guys who wrote this script and a first-time film financer. And everybody took a chance on this. We shot it in the Badlands of North Dakota on a working cattle ranch. And um, it was a bit of just, a, like, let's figure it out as, as the days go by. I mean, it was a crazy, crazy shoot in beautiful country. I mean, that's one thing about this movie. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has these classic Western vistas and is just stunning. And then when you're on an indie film, it's a little more more like summer camp. You really get close with everybody, and um, the work you do feels really precious. Cool. Valley of Bones. All right, you just got an ample reason to go check it out, folks. They took a chance. Why not? You may be just as surprised. Hey, listen, well done. You persevered through this interview. You look, can I just say you look great wearing earbuds, and I love your phone case. <laughs> I'm sick of my black phone case. I keep putting it down and can't find it. That pink is rocking my world. Yeah, go with pink. I think that'll that'll do it for you. Well, if, <laughs> if I can find it, I don't care what color it is. Hey, listen, Autumn, we got to run. Thanks. Thanks, Autumn.
Bye bye. Thanks, guys. That was Thanks. great. Yeah, bye. You can also see her here on CBS um, Salvation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.